In this video, I'm going to redesign the Lamborghini Urus and give you my best guess as to what the next generation might look like. I'm going to do this by taking inspiration, design inspiration from more recent models such as the Sian and the SC20 and then apply that onto the SUV package. Now usually I'm not a fan of these exotic brands and sports car brands. All of a sudden all everybody is creating SUVs because to me that is the definition of a compromise. They try to be good at everything which means that they are great at nothing. So here we have the current Lamborghini Urus and I kind of like the design of this car when it comes to what it is an exotic SUV. It looks pretty good, it looks a lot sportier than the rest of them which is of course the point with having a Lamborghini SUV but what I really can't stand on the front end of this Urus here are these body colored forks that you have here in the grill. This to me just makes the car look a lot cheaper than what it is because it's not a cheap car but this just cheapens the overall graphics in the front so I'm gonna have to remove these all of them on both sides of course but the biggest change here is going to happen in the front fascia of this car. I'm going to add some cyan inspired lights in the front and I also want to have this line right here and then you see that it goes down here I want to have it you have another crease in the body going here which then would connect somewhere in the back and also go into these new graphics that we're going to create in the front there. So I want to have a, that line be the line that you can follow all around the car. And you see the Y-shaped headlights in the Urus here but in the new Sian you can see that they are much larger and they take up a huge area in the front face. So that's the kind of the style that I want to go with on the Urus here as well and the redesign that we're going to make is to I want to I want to make this look old. This doesn't look old right now because this is the Urus that we know, but I want to make a design that even that's even more in your face and more aggressive Lamborghini style and try to apply that onto this SUV package here. All right, so here we are inside of Photoshop once again. We're going to start this redesign here of the Lamborghini Urus. Even though I said I'm not a huge fan of this trend of luxury and exotic cars creating SUVs nowadays, I get it. They still need the sales and people are buying SUVs nowadays. Even sedans are kind of slowly fading out in order to make room for even more SUVs and small compact crossovers. But I think Lamborghini kind of can get away with this design here and the fact that they are creating an SUV because the reason is they've been entering this luxury SUV game way back in the 1980s and I'm sure you've heard of the model. It's called the Lamborghini LM002. It started out as a military vehicle but transformed into a civilian luxury off-road beast in 1986. It's sort of a more awesome version of the American Hummer. It was powered by the 5.2 liter V12 engine from the Countach producing 450 horsepower at 6800 RPM. The LM was in production up until 1992 but only 300 cars were ever built. So when Lamborghini decided to start making the Urus here, they already had a history of building a high riding performance four-door car. And with the Urus, Lamborghini designers and engineers wanted to create a new icon in automotive history. And it started with the Urus concept back in 2012. And looking at the concept, I think Lamborghini here did a great job retaining the proportions and the overall stance and feeling of the concept going into production. I actually think that the production Urus looks better than the concept, especially if you look in the front. It looks more mature even though I can't stand the body colored forks in the grills which I talked about earlier in this video. Keeping up with the naming tradition at Lamborghini, the Urus is of course named after a bull, namely the Aurochs. This was a wild type of bull that was much larger than those we see today and one of the ancestors of modern domestic cattle. So redesigning the next Urus here, which I'm sad it's not gonna be called Urus, it's going to be called something else, probably based on some bull name, 
but I'm taking inspiration for the front end graphics from the Lamborghini Sian. I want to have those massive Y-shaped design features and lights in the front, although modif modified to, to fit a more high riding front end or a taller front end than the Sian, which is pretty flat in the front. So we need to modify those lights to make it suit this type of package. And the Sian, of course, is powered by a 819 horsepower V12 engine and a hybrid system, which makes the Sian the fastest accelerating Lamborghini ever, achieving a zero to 60 miles per hour time in just 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 218 miles per hour. And these are obviously numbers that we're not gonna see on an SUV and not on the next Urus either, because it's an SUV and it's a completely different package and physics exists as well. The power of the current Urus comes from a four liter V8 twin turbo engine delivering 650 horsepower and 627 pound feet of torque. And this gives the SUV a respectable zero to 60 miles per hour time in 3.6 seconds, zero to 120 miles per hour takes just 12.8 seconds. And it has a top speed of 190 miles per hour. And this actually makes it the fastest SUV available today on the market. Even though it's not the fastest accelerating car, you have the Model X coming in there as well. But for the top speed, nothing beats the Lamborghini Urus. As you can see, what I wanted to do with the redesign here was to create a little more line flow and have that be connected to the new front graphics that is going to be by 99% certainty going to be the new face shelf pretty much every single Lamborghini moving forward. We've already seen it start with the concept cars in the limited production Sian, for example, but these massive Y-shaped lights in the front. So what I wanna do is have the line flow from these go into the rest of the body. So if we have this line right here, you can see that connects to that line right there. And the top part of the Y goes into the front fender right here, which has been more, which has sharpened up just a little bit to have it be distinctly a line that continues into the line like that. On top of that, I just wanted to emphasize the fenders even more on this car as well. So added some more beefiness to these parts right here, as you can see on both the rear and the front fender of the car. I think it worked out great. I think this is potentially what the direction that Lamborghini could go with the next generation Urus because I'm pretty sure that they are going to build a second generation of the Urus. It's not going to be called the Urus of course because they always switch up the names when they come out with a new model just Lambo style but I'm sure they're going to make another sports car hyper exotic SUV because the Urus I think last time I heard it's about 50% of the sales of the all total Lamborghinis since it came out in 2019. And just walking around here in South Florida, I see them in every single street corner nowadays. So it's a huge su success for Lamborghini and I'm sure they wanna capitalize even more on that by releasing an update pretty soon. So as I said in the beginning here, I wanted to create this in your face feeling when you look at this redesign, I want to if you see, if you're on the highway at night and you look in the rear view mirror and you see these Y shape coming up next to you, you automatically want to feel like you have to move over because it's so intimidating coming at you from the back. And that's the face that I want the new Urus to have. So you have the signature lights in the front, which are the big Y shapes. And on top of the corner of the headlights assembly, that's where you have the actual light bulb for the main headlight. And I also wanted to change as I said, the grill intakes in the lower part of the car because I don't like those forks that we have on the original, on the current Urus. So I wanted to clean that up and create more of a structural design on the rear end of the car and make it more solid and also have the lines in the front continue into the side of the car and have that wrap around the entire car. So if I were to make a rear view of this, you would still see some of the lines in the front connecting in the side of the car and then wrapping around to the rear end as well. One detail that I'm gonna add at the very end of this redesign is that trim carbon fiber, I think it's carbon fiber trim piece that goes around the, the wheel arch uh, above the wheels. I, I used to have it almost grayish, but it didn't fit with the rest of the car because we have such a big 
black graphic uh, piece in the front which is the headlight assembly so we need to have some solid black pieces on other parts of the car as well to connect that to, vi to connect the whole graphics visually otherwise the front end is going to look too heavy if that's the only place where we have some solid black pieces so i decided to make those pieces around the wheel archer solid black even though it can still be carbon fiber and on top of that you have black mirrors and in the back, the entire rear portion of the car, the diffuser where the exhausts are, should be all black as well. And one thing we're definitely not going to have on the Lamborghini Urus is diffuser islands. Mm -hmm. 